You know, big one. We've all kind of given praise and positive criticism at the fact that TNA is finally moving out of the impact zone in Universal Studios. One of the main reasons, of course, is next month or so, the contract expires with Universal Studios. Which means they will not be having impact there anymore or having any other wrestling events there anymore. But how does this impact what happens in the next few years? Or in the next few months? Well, this weekend and next weekend, apparently, TNA is going to be holding its final, I guess you could say its final four or six, I can't, i got to look it up again, but the final tapings for the one night only special. And these are all going to take place, like I said, within this weekend and next weekend. The final four or six or something like that. So, by that happening, the last one night only taping that they'll be doing will be the last time ever in the Impact Zone. Now, question is what exactly is going to happen with the impact zone. Well, pretty much a lot of people have probably already assumed that it's going to be turned into an attraction. Or it might be bought out by another wrestling company. You know, like let's say Ring of Honor would be a good choice. You know, like I said, Ring of Honor might be a good choice to, to buy them out or to buy into it. You know, just saying. But apparently, they're going to be leaving. But apparently, you know, like we all said, you know, giving praise, basically giving them praise for it. They're finally graduating to mainly being permanently on the road. Now, now, however, that doesn't mean they're not going to stop doing multiple tapings. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't mean they're going to stop doing multiple tapings. No. You see, they're still going to do a live show and then maybe a taping or two at that same venue and then move on. But what does this have to do with lockdown? And what does it have to do with what it says down below? TNA to sell out only, or to seat only 5,000 and 72,000 seat, 72 seat arena. Or stadium, or only to sell out 5,000 in 72,000 seat arena. What does it? What does this have to do with that? Well, we all know that a lot of the places they go to, mostly here in the states, are arenas that, if they can work it out right, will pack only if a sellout allows it to 10 thousand people. That's usually their main goal. Ten thousand, maybe twelve thousand, maybe twelve thousand at the most. And if they're lucky, hey, six, if they're lucky someday you get the kind of crowds they've been getting in England. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Getting over a cough here. But kind of, you know, being that kind of direction, you know what I'm saying? Now, again, what does this have to do with lockdown? Well, apparently, and the link's going to be provided down below. Apparently, TNA 
is planning to sell out only 5,000 seats in the Alamo Dome for lockdown. Excuse <coughs> me. It's true. They only plan to sell out 5,000 seats from what it looks like in a 72,000 seat arena. Now you might say to yourself, like everybody else has commented on, this is a place that when the Spurs played there, when the Spurs played there, it sold out. It was packed. When the WWE had the Royal Rumble 1997 there, it was packed. <clears throat> so why in the world, if you're TNA, would you just want to use 5,000 seats in a 72 thousand seat arena. Well, that's obviously the logical question. Why? Why even book the Alamo Dome if you're only going to use 5,000 seats? This is the way I look at it. This is the way I look at it. TNA, in their own minds, they're trying to play it smart. They're like, okay, we want the Alamo Dome, but we realize we're not going to pack that entire arena. We realize that no, no, we're not going to get 72,000 people in that arena, or at least somewhere around that majority. We're not going to get that many people in that arena because nobody really wants to come to our events that much. Because mostly people are established with what we have. <coughs> or something like that. And again, it doesn't make sense that, you know, you're going to book this kind of an arena, but you're not going to use it to its full capacity. And I'm sure there's people in TNA like, well, hey, we got the Alamo Dome, why don't we just open up the whole damn thing? And again, it probably, in their minds, they're trying to play it smart and be like, look, people are used to seeing a small, like, venue but we can we, now. But the public thinking, well, everybody's expecting a small venue. Always oh, used to have seen us in a smaller venue or something like that. So why not just say, hey, yeah, we're at the Alamo Dome. Here it is. And here we're in the arena. We're inside, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have to use the whole damn thing. And by renting it out, they probably said, okay, look, we'll we'll pay for five thousand seats for people. For fans to fill up 5,000 seats if we could use the Alamo Dome. They probably played it, I guess you could say, cheaply and smartly. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. And there might be a reason for that too. <coughs> Remember last year when they had lockdown? I think it was last year. They had lockdown in Cincinnati. And, quite honestly, did Cincinnati's USA, U.S. Bank Arena sell out? No, it didn't. You had a huge arena in Cincinnati, and you only sold out 4,000 seats. And everything else, pretty much, people could see were not that filled up. I mean, TNA had to use different camera angles just to say, hey, we filled it up. So now, so now, TNA is basically saying, you know what? We've booked ourselves in the 72-seat arena. So instead of trying to sell it out, or at least get a decent-sized people in there, let's just cut off 67 seats worth and use only 5,000 seats. That's basically what they're doing. That's basically what they're doing. They're cutting off 60,000 seats and saying, hey, let's just use 5,000 of them. That's basically what they're saying, folks. 
They're saying, hey, let's use a 72,000 seat arena and only pay to use 5,000 seats. They're basically cutting out 67,000 seats in that Alamo Dome because one, they want to cut costs or save money, but also, in a sense, they think, hey, by saving money, we can still say, hey, we may have only given 5,000 seats away or sold out 5,000 seats, but hey, at least we can say we were at the Alamo Dome. That, that's the plan. That's why dogs bark it out there, so. But anyway, that's what they seem to be doing. That seems to be the plan and the direction they want to, they want to go. Plan and direction they want to go in. And that, <coughs> excuse me. And that's to basically say, hey, we did that stadium, or we did that arena, and look, at least we can say on record we had a sellout in our average, from our standards. See, basically what TNA's doing, <coughs> if you will, is they're trying to play it smart. They're trying to play it smart by not only booking a huge ass arena, but by trying to say, hey, at least we had an event there, and yeah, we sold it out from our expectations. You know, th there's, a dif <coughs> there's a difference, folks. There's a huge difference, you know, between that. And that huge difference is you could say you performed at such an arena, but the big difference is, you can say you did it, but you can say you did it within a big enough, a big, a big ass enough crowd to say you had a decent stop. It was, well, okay. Better yet, it's like you could say you performed at such an arena, but you did it in front of, front of a decent sized crowd. You didn't block off a majority of the arena. I mean, you're basically, I mean, TNA is basically blocking off. 95% of the arena news only using 5%, which is stupid, but I guess in their minds, they're trying to save money and, and cut cost. Because think about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because think about it. They're not on the levels of WWE. Okay, they're not on those levels, financial levels. So they're thinking, yeah, we can do the Alamo Dome, but we can't afford to rent out the entire building. Let's just rent out so many seats. Or set one, this portion of it in so many seats. That's probably, you know, what's going on. And, <clears throat> and, and again, it may not make any logical sense. But from a business standpoint, in their minds, being the company that they are, they can at least say they did it, and they sold it out to their expectations. So, do I think, you know, am I glad they're getting out of the impact zone and doing shows on the road? Yes. Am I glad they're trying to do a pay-per-view show from a place like the Alamo Dome? Yes. Do I think it makes sense that they're only using 5,000 5, seats instead of at least trying to nab a decent amount of size there? No. But financially and business-wise, I guess it is a smart move on their part. So let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. I'll provide a link to the stadium aspect of what's being planned for the event, and I'll talk to you later.